Oh, hey. It's Team Ed 40 Blue. Let me mute myself so I don't get too distracted. Got my shades on. I got it going on. Got stream stuff. I got chat with me. Welcome back to a little help. Um, I'm working on Unity stuff. I'm really excited. I don't know if I talked about this last time we did this show. Oh, that reminds me. And you're going to love this. Um, for our special friends who help support like our community and make it happen, y'all are super active on Discord. You know who you are, my beautiful folks. But we just got um, stickers for... It's actually the College of Alchemy logo. A little help doesn't really have one. But it's on the corner of this stream, and ugh, therefore on the corner of this computer. Hopefully I don't disconnect anything, but you can see. Look at this fresh sticker. Yeah! So, I rock the Mint Potion swag. I think it's cool as heck. Grab you a thing. Um, if you, you know, if we have your address and you know it, clap your hands, because you're about to get some cool stuff. Um, what else is new? This app has kind of been coming along pretty well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At Magnet Connect. This app's been going pretty well so far. I have a lot of my data structures in place, and I've been kind of just messing with... Oh, great, it didn't work. No, I'm just kidding. I have a button here. Uh, just making a little bit of, like, future usability easier for me. So I have tournament types, application views, and as I'm working through it in the right here, I wish... is. What the crap? Okay. Is there a way, uh, is there any Mac users out there who could maybe, like, enable... They used to have this feature where you could, like, zo pinch zoom into a, a portion of the screen. Oh, maybe I'll investigate that on the show. Let me, um... Oh, not that one. Unmute this other device. So, there's that, but this feature that I just kind of added is for, um... As I work through it, I want to see, like, oh, the create player list, which is, like, the default view. And this will have, like, hey, rules of the game and the state that we're on, and I'll probably change the name of that object, hey. Or find another way to label it. But right now, <laughs> accessibility settings. I can enable it so that I hold control and slide up or down. Okay, cool. Actually, let's look at that. Uh, system preferences. Uh, accessibility. Uh, zoom. Let's see, toggle zoom, use scroll gesture modifier keys, yeah. Control, can I make it function, the most useless key on, on, a, on a laptop? Option, command, I guess it'll have to be control. All right, cool. Zoom style, can I do picture in picture? What the crap, no. So, is that work now? Sweet! Okay, cool, I'm glad that that's, that's enabled. So I wanted to show you this section of the screen where I have the create player list thing going on. And that'll allow me to kind of set when the game launches the beginning of the state uh, that we're editing. Because there are a couple more states to edit. Um, and I've been kind of on the fence about which one that would be. Is it the one where I set up the rules? I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, so set up the rules for either of these games here. Um, options is kind of going to be that space. So from here, go back to, whoa, another state. Um, and uh, so this will go into setting up the tournament itself, like what type you want. I think I'll keep this button there to, um, <clears throat> keep this button there to maybe have like some sort of home button or some software equivalent of that to go to the title screen or whatever. Uh, TMAT is here. I need to give him a name, an icon. I think I'm going to, for our patrons, maybe add your icons. If you're cool with that, let me know. I'm going to add your icons to like an asset package or something like this and kind of keep updating it. This is going to be like a light ongoing project, but I want to launch it this weekend for our tournament. And if you are a patron, you know what that's about. We are going to play Rocket League, which I'm sometimes majestic at. I think I'll get magic in there. Um, I'll do this. Register player. Cool. Something is not being registered. That's totally fine. Tomiki, what's going on? Um, so we got the thing. I have like a button here. This is all supposed to also work for like a touchscreen interface as well. Button here to edit. Whoa, hold on. Something is disconnected. 
I would like to know what that is. Yes, sir. Getting a bunch of errors. Error? I am error. Yeah, what are you doing? I guess it's time. Alright, cool. So let's figure out what's going on with these guys. I wish that Unity had, like, font smoothing. That would make my life a little bit easier. Let's see, so, something, either I've changed the name of something, but it looks like something that I changed in a file is breaking up the relationship to another file. I'm good, I'm good, thank you so much for asking. Um, I'm just getting in the groove, doing it normally, doing it like normal, but I've been putting hours into this off stream as well. Also, so the thing I get to show you because of these wonderful er errors that pop up, this is the new That's Right Visual Studio for Mac OS. Whoa! It's like the real thing. Like, there's a Visual Studio icon for it and everything. Like, what? What? That's crazy. So, I don't know. That's, a, that's, that's, that's all good and fun. I want to figure out what's going on with, I guess, just one thing at a time. I'll run it one more time. Get myself an error. Get me. Get me an error. Register player. Alright, so you. It doesn't know what a challenge or list tag is. Which means that there's something in the prefab that isn't set? Nope. Okay, or it's trying to do something with the, with the pressing ladder builder, game object, find screen, create player list. Oh, okay. So, it can't make sense of where this ladder builder object is. Um, and why do I need this ladder builder? It's the script that the list tag, like, let's pull it out, because it's right here. Pull, pull, pull. It's the script that the list tag refers to when it needs to know, like, oh, the state of, is a player ready? Or it can ask the manager, like, do we have all of the rules for... <laughs> Say some stuff only a programmer would understand. Um... Uh, ru rush cases and also uh, compiler optimization uh, arguments and uh, maybe some <laughs> I don't know hopefully you know if anyone's curious about C sharp scripting in Unity and specifically I can help a lot with that Probably programming in general. I'm working. I'm working up my skills. We're doing. We're doing it. If I wanted to make a tool, did I tell you guys about this? Is there anybody in in chat who has no idea what the heck I'm doing? Let me know, and I will describe that hopefully in a way that non-programmers can understand. Um, <clears throat> but let's go figure out why ladder player is not being resolved because that's probably why this function isn't doing its dang job. Uh, ladder Builder is looking for screen create player list right here on line 16. And that's, uh... If I, like, look at the debug mode... Whoa! This guy, plow. See? I don't know where Ladder Builder is. I think the problem is I actually moved Ladder Builder to a different script. Uh, which I shouldn't have done. No, here it is. Ladder Builder's just fine. Everyone's fine. Canvas, we're going to be starting with Ladder Builder. Last few state is in-game. That's not true. Anyway. Um. So, you. I guess I could either get it from another script, or I can try this find game object thing again. Although, I don't think the name of the object itself has changed. Um, so why isn't, why it isn't returning this component? I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> uh let's see. <laughs> yes, we can keep the Khaled command. Does it add, uh, does it add DJ Khaled, like, quotes out of nowhere? <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I might be clipping. My audio is not super leveled. Um, did I send you the really fun funny picture that I s took at Dune and D? 
Yes, absolutely. Keep the command. Please, I mean, those of you who have been, who have been selected to moderate and help out around the community, like, I don't know who made the mint potion icon in Discord. As a matter of fact, let's open up Discord so I can see if I have seen... <laughs> they said nothing was ever easy. Uh, last I checked, I do not have a photo from from you that actually has this type of thing. Where is the sinking thing here? Pooh Man is on the run. Smear Fleece Hospital. Um. There's some Markiplier video. There's some guy from Ninja Sex Party video. Wait. Incoming message from Tomaki. He wants all of you to know this very specific thing. I think I'm gonna open the original. Cause that's the only way that I can be sure. What is this? Hold on. Can anyone can anyone figure out what this is for me? I'm looking for the answer. I've got some kind of laser nipple over here, and then there's like a a certain ABS valley. Uh, do you drive a Saturn? Nah, Saturns don't have laser nipples. Coconut cream pie, cold brew. Let's see. And it looks like a bunch of children are stuck inside of this pit. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Tomaki, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I'm not sure what this is, what, what I'm, I'm... You know what's sad is I'm looking for the punchline. And maybe there isn't one. Sometimes people just send you pictures. And that's okay, too. It's the sign. Coconut. Cream pie. Cold brew. That seems like a totally reasonable thing to me. A delicious thing, but a totally reasonable thing. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, miss. I think every time I scroll by that window, I should say something like that. It's all in white. Is he, you're trying to get me to say nut cream pie? That's funny. I get it. I get it. I think I get it. I don't want to laugh out loud. People will think I'm... No, I'm just kidding. Let's try that again. Once more for reference. This is my most productive stream as ever. Let's see. Drunken Donuts. Fancifying commands. Hey, thank you so much, C Mad. It was Sesk. This is weird. If I wasn't so dedicated to my awkward, you know, um, female Brandon Lee, uh, I don't think I would. Uh, <laughs> I think I might. I might try and raster this up or vector this up into a pretty screen. Excuse me, miss. Um, so let's see what the heck is going on. Ladder manager is assigned but never used. That can't be true. Can I access the ladder manager? I don't want to have like some super stupid circular thing. I need the ladder manager to tell me about the rules and the name of the tournament. Um, that's what that's what that's for. Got so much chat. Uptime, reading really nice about docs to show me a kind of tool stuff. Kind of tool. I, you know, I've got like super good dysphoria this week, like, or dyslexia. What's the difference? Um, all right, so invert tag colors. That, I'll, none of this stuff would really work if I don't have the right thing inserted here. So, let's just double check if, uh, what I'm doing is to see if that doesn't exist, we're going to stop the program. 
Because I, I don't believe in you. I don't believe you. And I'm sure the first thing that happens, and it has to do with this manager that I built. Heck no. Heck? Heckin. Okay, cool. How are we not getting any errors now? What's, uh, what's, what's going on, buddy? Nice. Whoa. This looks great. Hectate. Choose image. So for these icons, oh, well, it looks like it's working fine. Great. Icon. Choose image. I need an icon for Tamaki. I need an icon for, for everybody. Cool. So it's going to keep your state. It's going to allow me to edit this if I like spell your name incorrectly. And you should be able to do these things too. Keep changes. Boom. So all of that's pretty cool. That was like the first stretch is just making sure that I had a good like data model. Because a lot of the other stuff is just presentation. You know, we're just drawing lines and we're saying, okay, now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Um, Way, way good work, way good work with the chat. Did you know that Nightbot commands work in general chat? For example, if you're on our Discord, which by the way, you can hit by doing this word. I think I can do call lead. Boom. In general. And Nightbot is hanging out there too, watching us. Dogan is playing Unity. Um, so, you know. <laughs> Khaled. Oh man. I think uh we have to edit the cooldown timer on that one. Oh interesting. No sir, your moderator rank does not sync over. Um on Discord. We have we have we have superseded moderators. Um, I can send you my icon, although I'm not a patron. Absolutely. I will take anyone's icon. I mean, I don't, you know, maybe somebody wants to play using your icon. Maybe that's not up to the people who participate in these tournaments. I'm not quite sure. But I leave, um, empty spaces. I leave empty spaces up. Um, or like these, oh yes, I can do this all day now. Like these bracketed kind of text fields to let me know, hey man, you should probably work on that next. Like that is incomplete, right? So we're going to do that. Oh, excuse me, miss. And um, <clears throat> somehow, that assert or whatever, I have no idea why that wasn't working. I don't remember changing anything or relinking much of nothing. But I do have to grab icons from people. Actually, if you could please send that to me on Discord in a PM or something like that. Thank you, Tomoki. You got it right away. You're going to hear my response like it was. I waited for 20 seconds. Um, just because I'm looking at chat on a different computer, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. Whoa. Um, if you could please briefly describe your image, which is this. Um, I'm sure I'd like to tell, I'd like to understand it better. Mint potion, mint potion. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, he is looking at the commands. So, if you all don't know already, this is Tomaki. This is Tomaki's dance. Uh, 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 da, 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 hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm just gonna grab a copy of that. Save image as Tomaki icon. Uh, and I'll put that somewhere. Bloop, bloop. Looking good. All right. Think about it. Think about it. One day. I was looking at the documentation. I was looking for a specific function, a sprite renderer. Uh, image is like a big version of sprites. Twitter. Uh, Soapy Mint Potion. I guess we could just add that same command. Yeah. Actually... We should, we should, we should get Sophie Mint Potion a little bit more. Oh my god, no, my email, don't. I'm just kidding. We should get Sophie Mint, Mint Potion a bit more. Oh crap, oh crap. I have to get her a thing. Hold on. I have to send her a very important email. Uh, what the crap? Let's see. Let's move that. 
Back to the safety screen. And, uh, oh, code looks, like, really serious. Like, if you scroll by this, this channel on Twitch, you'll be like, oh, that guy's, like, looking at code. That's really important. Oh, I have to-dos. Those are important, too. Actually, let's see what's kicking around. Uh, can I look through the whole project? Oh, it just does it. Cool. So now I have my search results here. I can go and, hey, a confirmed dialog box. That's a good thing to do during the stream. <laughs> um, could we? I don't know. You, you, you got the formatting down. A lot, of, a lot of you have helped me learn a dang thing or two about Twitch. But I actually have to send. Speaking of site stuff. I want to, I don't want to transfer it. I want to add a couple of, uh, what's it called? You know, uh, I need uh, to share. I don't know what this button does. All right, I need to share um, the, the ability for the new, uh, for the new website, which you don't know about. Um, I need to give access to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's how you that's how you win. As long as your computer doesn't explode when you press the button or like your country doesn't explode when you press the button or whatever, you should be totally fine. Um you might not be able to break the thing. That's what I'm trying to say. Manage site I want to add more people to the domain. I need like collaborators. I'm the owner of the new Mint Potion site. I would love to delete my old Wix site, which is embarrassing. We should go look at it though, right? Right? Oh, to enjoy a site, I need to update my Flash Player. <laughs> no, I don't. Um. <laughs> it's totally cool if another country blows up. What what country would you pick, Sophie and Potion, and choose wisely? Because putting that out in the inner, in the universe might not be worth it. Connect your domain, upgrade a premium, get a mailbox. What does this even mean? Premium plans. Yeah, we'll handle that later. Right. And see, that's, that's why, you know, you, you buy the magnesium computer, so that you can, so that you can do something with this. Select site. Ooh. I need to explore the app market, automated emails, roles and permissions. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. I need to add a contributor or two to this site. Uh, that would include, but not be limited to, Ravi, um, at mintoption.com. Man, I'm glad I can spell. Sealand. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna add a contributor to whatever her email address is. Sophie McSoferson at sofariu.co. Oh my. Hey, aim for the Saturday after next to shoot. Yet another project. Man, one day I'll have my own project and I'll be like, I need help. And then I'll watch my own stream. See, is that a country? How I seen Hitalia. Isn't that the, oh, that's Hestia. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just knock out these to-dos today. Know what I mean? I do have a confirmed dialogue, but I kind of need the state that sets up the confirmed dialogue. Although, there is this remove player thing. So, I can do, uh, check this out. Check this out. Let's do a boolean, right? Um, confirm action. I don't know. Somebody's phone's off the hook. It's probably mine. I wonder why. 
What is it? Gilbert Gill. Ill Gill. Do we have enough acts? It looks like there are four. I'm trying to set up a, a recurring show. Got the email. Good, 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 good. So have a look at that. Let's, um, you know, as I do a, a very not formal uh, meeting. <laughs> live, on st live on Twitch. We're going to figure out what the crap. What is this? Six bit one. I don't understand. Seven thirty. I don't know who you are, person. Anyway, got the email. First law. Asta la pasta. What the? Okay, well that moved on quickly. Anyway, so what I want to do is I need a variable that is acting like a function, confirm action, because I want to do something as well as evaluate. Oh, that's cool. Sophie, congratulations. You know, you win. You win your very own set of little help stickers. Wow, look at them. They're so cute. They look just like they do on the stream. They're almost exactly the right size. If I just line it up, whatever. And my power slip. My power cable goes away. Um, you also win the unique ability to distribute a little help stickers. It's actually the College of Alchemy stickers. But, you know, we'll make more stickers. There will be stickers. Anyway, confirm action. I'm getting an error because I need to return true or false based on whatever the heck happens. Um, which I think I might do... I don't know, some sort of anonymous function. But it has to bring up a window. And then the window has to tell me, like, are you sure you want to do that? So let's take all the steps, man. I need some kind of generic, like, frame. I don't know where Inkscape's going to open. I just, I need, I need it to open. Um, but in order to remove this error, we're going to just say return false. Um, and that will get rid of that because... It is not a void type, which is, does not require anything to be returned. It is a true or false boolean type. Um, so we're just going to have that kicking there for a second as I produce some artwork really rapidly. Okay, let's go right blam there. All right, step one is you, you need a new document. Okay. Step two is you open the recent document. Uh... Wherever you are. Hey, there it is. Oh, gosh. Worst idea ever. What, like, why does it think that that window is over there? All right. It just, it does it. It did it again. Uh, maybe come over here. Let's talk about this. What if I made you share space with another application? I can't select the window. There we go. Hey, all right, cool. So look, I already have the thing that I'm looking for. Awesome. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, I'm going to, I think W is, what the, that's cool. Anyway, this is Inkscape. Um, it is a open source vector editing tool that we can use. I don't even know what it is. That we can use for doing our magical stuff. Alright, I actually want another thing off of my desktop here. Uh, documents. Do I have like a mint potion? Icon. Discourse logo. Yeah, we need a forum. We really do. Nah, not really. Um, I was using Inkscape earlier to do my own branding stuff. That's darn right. Actually, and I have, uh, you know, we have Creative Cloud. But I prefer, I prefer Inkscape for a number of reasons. Kind of reminds me more of Flash. There are fewer layers. There's a little bit less. Um, less garbage to think about. When, especially when all I want to do is get... Um, okay, what? Cooking? MIDI.Wave. And I got a document from oh this is supposed to be a cookbook gotcha 
Did you know that that was an idea that I'm still kind of like secretly <laughs> trying to shepherd? Uh, let's see. Well, do all these have... That looks like it has all the colors. Yeah, that's enough. I just... Get in here. Man. Uh, sure. Just, like, open. Give me another... Give me another window. Don't be shy. I need... I need... Some, I need to steal some of your colors. But I made this logo in Inkscape. Which I think is okay. When I plan my attack. Cool. I just want this so that I can pull colors off of it. Because I want to do maybe like... Uh, yeah. Old. What? 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 It's easy and simple. GIMP is what I use for my thumbnails. I'm a video editor, not a photo editor. Oh, I see. I'm... I don't know. I definitely... I definitely prefer... some kind of useful useful tool or organism. But I wanted to make, uh... the stroke color... like that. Wow. And the fill color... like... this. Cool. Because it's kind of outstanding, I can make the text inside the right size. Um, if I go to export PNG, I can get like a 512 square, which will work really well at like a high resolution. And uh, yeah, why the heck not? I mean, how much space could it possibly take? So I just want to make sure that uh, rounded, let's make, instead of icon, let's call it like a window uh, texture or something. I don't know, 2D and UI. Um, this is actually already pointing to Unity Project's Game Tournament Ladder Assets Textures. It's already going where I want it to go. I'm going to save it there, then export it. Blam, when we're good, I can go back in here and it's like, Oh, what's this? You got a new texture. I'm like, yeah, I, I know. We just made it. And that workflow, uh, that works for me, you know. <laughs> so I want to make, um, I want to make, make a new, like, alert object or button type. That'll kind of live on the canvas, like the top layer anyway. There's a button for the Mint Potion logo. I could duplicate that and just maybe center it. Um, no, let's not do that. Let's start from scratch. This is how you do UI in Unity, which I do a considerable amount of. So I need a... I guess is it a panel? Will that work? What the crap is this? No, no, no. Panel contains anything can contain buttons. Do you even see that, bro? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Why would I do that? I write usage code kind of as I go, and fix things as they get broken. And then, if anything needs to be compressed or com compartmentalized, then I'll do that. Um, my my bro. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do the pseudo. Why would I? I mean, this, if if I'm understanding you correctly, you're talking about writing code that represents code that I haven't written yet. So I could, or I could just like write some damn code, right? <sighs> All right. So I want do 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 do. Let's see, where is my texture? I don't like a button thing. Bruh, bruh. <laughs> um, raw image, that is not going to work. I'm trying to think of what component I want, because I want that... It's basically just an image that has variable size. Maybe it could be a button of... Some sort, let me think. Let me think here. What do you want? Doodle -doo. Doodle -doo. Whoa. What are all of these like caveman style like faces? I must know more. I guess I could just like copy and paste these things. I could investigate them individually. Let's say it is an image. No. It should be a sprite. Anyway, 
Uh, let's get ourselves a texture. I don't have a sprite set to it. Although it would be something like that, right? This rounded window texture. And I actually want it to be sliced. Uh, and the reason why I want it to be sliced, I think by default it'll slice it properly. No, it doesn't. Wow. The embarrassment is real. Do I have default sprite material? Just like something, you know. MP logo plane. Ooh, it's all transparent and stuff by default. That's not what I want. Oh, there it is. Sprite's default. Where is... Where's my other screen? Everything's... Everything's so big. This... Do, 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 do. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see what's going on now. I love that guy's emotes. What? No one what? Llama? There are serious techniques happening. Um, can I edit the slice, the slicing? If I go through my assets, there's this guy. This guy has a sprite object as a child of it. And sprite mode, single, that's correct. I can go to the sprite editor. And the sprite editor allows us to change the origin of the object itself. Um, where is the slicing utility? Because for UI elements, that's kind of what you need. Uh, let's just revert. I haven't really done anything that I feel crazy about. Crazy. Let's get rid of debug view so I don't have all this extra stuff. Okay. Droid sliced. The image does not have a border. What? It's that, um, disgruntled clown. Just asking for a friend. What? Um, maybe I have to export an area that's slightly larger than this spread? I don't know. Let's take this, uh, let's take this to another application. Let's say... Like, what if, what if I don't want the image to have a border? You ever think about that? Um, can I change from here, edit the, I'm looking at the uh, preview. I guess I could do it in Photoshop as well, but whatever. Um, really quickly. Pep Clown. Uh, <laughs> this clown, am I right? Alpha and transparency rewrite enable. Right, to do UI. Normal. Okay. Text image, raw image. Image is what I'm already using. Image does not have a border. Why is that important? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's ask Google. Slice image does not have border unity. This clown. Pretty good. When resizing a nine sliced image, let's go to the latest version of the documentation. What? Image type sliced. The slices can be set up in the sprite editor. Does not have a border. Okay, that's what I thought. So, we will do this. 
Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Edit. No, that's not interesting. Uh, revert. I don't care about the modules. Here's the border. Aha. So, I mean, 128 seems like a pretty reasonable border all around because, you know, it's a 512 pixel uh, image. Although I still think I'm going to catch a bit of that curve there. So, let's be a little less nice to ourselves. Uh, I guess 150? That's better. Kind of like uh, if you ever did, if you ever did web design back in the day, you could, um, you would have to slice up a lot of your UI elements uh, in order to. This is beautiful. Apply. Cool. Let's see if I still get that error. Oh look, now it's a circle. This is crazy, right? What the crap? But it's doing its job now. Right? So now I could do something like this where it's like, are you sure? And it's gigantic. Um Which might be all I really need to do actually. Um, but we're going to do that as the alert frame. Let's see. Goodbye, uh, goodbye, Tamaki. I have to go to my piece. Wait, 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 what? What? Don't forget to tweet, 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 like Rock and Robin. Uh, thank you, Sophie McPunch. Mick Punchin. Mick Punchin. Sophie Mick Punchin. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do it like so. We can animate some of the parameters to make it kind of juicy, but this will be the framework for our alert window system. Um, the alignment of this object with our wonderful rectangle, something like that. I'm gonna start here. Uh, the width is in pixels. You gotta be subscribed to a channel to get its emotes. Um, gosh, we gotta fix that. Thanks for thank you for reminding me. Twelve hundred by seven twenty. That's the reference size, but seven twenty is a little bit aggressive. That's okay. Oh, uh, speaking of subscriptions, <laughs> immediately, immediately, as it is said, I've got, I've gotten the glare. Oh, thank you for wanting to throw money at us. Tell your friends. As long as it's uh, Wulongs, I, I, I do take Wulongs. Oh, if I scale this down, it's actually a lot more... Ooh, it's a little bit more... Uh, it's a little nicer. Okay, I'm gonna dance with that. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25 in the dimension that actually doesn't exist, as described in this photo. <clears throat> so, I'll be more than happy to accommodate the money throwings um, as soon as possible. That is not... Let's, let's let's not all be like, hey man, what's your? Why can't I throw money at you? Even though it's kind of it's kind of my fault. It's kind of my fault. I'll take the blame for that. That's fine. Um, width and height. All right, that's beautiful though. It's beautiful, even though the scale is ridiculous, and I hope nothing happens to it. It'd be a shame. It'd be a shame if something happened to that window. So I need this. There we go to do something like that. All right, so 1600 by whatever, 3200. Just like some good old, you know, good old rectangular numbers. Um, I'll collapse this stuff down so I can manage it. So another thing that I need in this image, which is now going to be called our alert dialogue frame or something like that. I don't know. What do I call it? I have screen, like over here, I kind of have like a, a way of organizing objects. I got SCRNs, and I got BTNs and TXTs. Um, and the real main reason for that is if I'm looking for TXTs, then I can find all of the objects that are text objects, or I can find all of the button objects. 
this is this is a uh, using the tool to the max uh 105 so this is really a frame maybe i'll have like a dialogue type even though there really won't be many of these we're overthinking it uh how about win because that's what it is uh window alert frame and um that will have some children uh specifically it will have two buttons do 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 wow and weird thing about buttons you know at this scale at this point in a button's life uh sorry i'm just remembering something no it does have an image script yeah you're correct Maybe it's that your Z position is too high. You ever think of that, huh? No, you only think about yourself. As I plan my attack. Oh, I see the button is just so small. It's so small. Look at it, it's so tiny. So, let's do that. I have a button. This would be like a button for confirming. And a button for deny, and I'll duplicate that button and rename it. Denied. Uh, they are quite small, aren't they? You can make them maybe 10 times bigger, and they would be pretty legible. That's fine. That's pretty huge. It's very Nintendo-esque. Um, and, you know, since we read uh, left to right in this, uh, fair, this fair land... Yeah, something in there doesn't work. Eight, maybe? Uh, yeah. I still have enough space to say what I want to say in this over zone. Uh, also, why, why style two buttons when you can just do it to one? We have our signature typeface uh, on a, an invisible selecting screen. Yeah, that's really what I wanted to see right now. That's good job there, guy. Uh, maybe it showed up over here. I don't know. Save your work. Um, Baba. Where are you? Dialog box? that I'm in such need of. Not a real big deal. I can always tap into the fonts folder. Because I really would just want to do that and drag and drop that there. Blam! Oh, it looks so beautiful! Uh, we're gonna do best fit because it's already kind of stretching to the frame. I'm gonna change the text style. Size. You could also change the button texture uh, in a higher level to match the frame. But I think that would be a little bit thick or ridiculous looking. Um, and you kind of want to make sure when you're designing UX that all of the things that you can touch look the same. Um, just, you know, just saying. I'm really picky about that stuff. I'm like, like you do not want to work with me on the UX situation. Negative 700 for you. I like round numbers. Um, Button. Good job, Button. Man, you're so cool. Uh, so I'll just do something simple. Simple language as well. That's another thing. Uh, notice how the text is very blurry. There are a number of ways to fix this. One thing that I do is... I used to have to kill the size on the object. Now I've just gotten a lot less picky about it. Because best fit is going to do that anyway. And also at runtime like the actual size right if we look at the screen the actual size what is the actual size of the screen right now what are you talking about uh it's still gonna look kind of blurry uh, uh, you know what i'll do you know what i'll do i'm gonna grab a text component from some other button oh i'm just gonna paste that right there Lamb. Um, look at that. Uh, 
perfect. Works every time. Uh, oh, cancel. Or possibly even continue. And why not? Let's take that. So what did I do exactly? 40 raycast target. Well, you don't really need a text to be a raycast target. We can get into that later. Uh, there is a shadow that kind of helps cover some of the uh, aliasing. Um, and what else? That looks good. Yeah, so it's not really attached to a function if we go up to the higher level here. I need to have a go back action or something like that. Like, hey, you don't have enough players. Or, hey, are you sure you want to begin? Or, hey, are you sure you want to delete a player? And I think that last case, the delete a player, will be where we actually... Ugh, where we actually make a difference in the world. Let's use that color picker to the max. We... Ah, oh, looks pretty good. Not great. Actually, I'm not happy with that. I'm happier with that. Uh, cool, so cancel um, the pressed state. I will pull from another object to give it, you know, some kind of thing. Highlighted, same, same stuff, different day. Um, just to, you know, in keeping with the theme. It looks like the ticker died. Oh, it did! Some, or somebody tabbed over to the ticker trying to fix it. Um, but, you know, overlays activity report blog. That's uh, streampro.io. Um, I think I'm going to eventually replace that thing. I've been saying it for months. Um, they are a nice service, and you can log into and edit it from anywhere, but unfortunately it is just... It's kind of a mess. You know, I'm not really a fan. Unless, 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 Team Ad, do you want me to uh, fix the filter? Uh, we can do that too. It doesn't take very much time, but you know, I'm also not completely worried about it. Cool thing about using these solid numbers is that I can just do that. Whoa! Just kidding. That'd be cool. <laughs> um, I can just do that. And that will enable pretty good placement. <laughs> you have to fix everything instantly. Okay. Well, if you say so. Look, you guys are making this possible. That's largely true. I do it for the people and the project. I really, I really enjoy. I really enjoy this place. We're doing really special things. Uh, okay. Okay. A little bit enthusiastic. We don't want people to get too excited when they're, you know, doing their thing. So let's see, how's this thing work? Look, work now. Oh, hover, click. Oh, and the off state or the last selected state, which we shouldn't ever really see. Uh, I guess on button release we can do a thing like deactivate the parent either way, but then also send a message. Um, speaking of which. We need a text window for the alert message. So let's add that. Let's add that from our UI. Text. Blam. Uh, this will be text alert. Message. Okay, cool. And uh, let's see. You are pretty big. I'm going to align it to the top. And what I'm doing when I hit shift is moving that anchor. This like little quadrant thing, which you can't really see, but you can imagine that you see it. So now it's like half on either side, right? And it looks like it's not particularly thick. Remember, we have the same problem of our text is not um, like the parent container because I'm manipulating the the thickness of our of our super super high definition. Look at this curve. Oh, it just keeps curving. Where is that tech? There we go. What am I zoomed in at? This is incredible. All right. Um, the super high definition um, UI box that we have here. If I put new text in it, which it already says new text, that's hilarious. Um, we won't really see it because it's too small. The parent object is scaled up something ridiculous. Or down something ridiculous. That's what that's what I was trying to say. Sorry, getting back to the point. Um, 
20. You can see there's a line of new text here. Right there is new text. Boom, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, and you know what? I should have just should have just borrowed a text field that I already liked. <laughs> I think, uh, let's see. Uh, view state looks pretty good. Let's copy that guy. And uh, paste that guy in here. Cool. Now you are the view state. No, you're not. Uh, you're going to be text, alert dialogue, or message, or whatever. Um, cool. And it'll say something like, alert! Wait! No good language. Is there, like, a good kerning option? All right. Wait, wait, wait. So I need the thing to be aligned in the center, and... Preferably toward the top of this rectangle that it resides in. Um, this has to do with the anchor, right? Same problem. This area up here. Anchor presets. Also set privet. Also set position. Boom. Shift. Alt. Boom. I want this. Wow. Maybe I don't want that. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, wait. You know what? These aren't actually children of each other. Or This isn't referring to that box. There we go. It's not a child of the alert frame. So, same problem, different release. We're going to do Shift Alt, and place that there. Because I do want it to be anchored to the top and have that line uh, there. I don't really like that color of text. So, I want to do something like maybe that and see how legible it is. Whoa! Against the border, it's not super great. It's only kind of super great. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I do want that text to be bold. Maybe I'll have a title version and a text version. And we can control the spacing inside of that window. Uh, like, are you sure you want to action, right? And so when I call this function, I'm going to give it some sort of condition for the alert that it's to display. And then go from there. So alert message and alert title. Um, and it's not unlike a website, I think. So alert message, here we go, blam, you're only slightly lower than the other one, bliggity blam. And that actually gives us space to do a little bit more with design. Like, maybe is that a good color? No, how about this one? That's not how that works. Okay, um, how about, really, you know, the dark color, the highest contrast would be the best way to make use of this like area right because then you go oh i know it's i know what can, what area i'm in how do i make that better um this thing let's make it a little bit bigger and we're going to take a look at our alert message and i want to i wish there was a way to visualize the rectangle if there are any unity uh like ui devs that watch the stream which you know there sometimes are um I would love to discuss a little bit of easy use stuff. All right, so wait, some kind of alert message. So I'll just do this. Altered brain. Cool. Thank you. Just like stay right there. So negative five oh seven is not in the neighborhood of thing that I like. Negative three seventy five seems pretty good. Or three seventy five, yeah, cool. You know, pay attention to your margins. Like, why the heck do I have this uneven space here? These these channels look good. What the crap is that? What are you? What are you? It's fine. Uh, we could probably this is this is what I'm talking about. Just like. Just like that, because I'm setting myself up for success with that. <laughs> Let's do 775. Um, with this corner to corner thing, it's like crap like that that like gets people or myself uncomfortable. You know, learn you some UI. So, and I could say we got like we got mirrored axes. I can just do the same thing. Here. Whoa, no, why? 
You know, I did not get any music from chat today. I'm gonna start playing stuff off of Discord. I have no idea how long the stream's been up. I'm gonna ask the general Mint Potion chat. Uh, let's see. One hour, one minute, and 32 seconds. Ooh. You have a suggestion. Hit me with it, TMAD. I am listening. A playlist link. A playlist link? How does that work? Oh, okay, okay. I'm <laughs> like, do you explain a link of a playlist? Tell me more. 30. I want it. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Let's do negative 400. Cool. And then I want the width actually to not be maximized. Though I can't see. Can I maybe change this to stretch? Right. And then I want to change the piece of crap. I don't want to change this individually. That's like not good for anybody, right? Is there another... Yeah, right? With... Can I maybe make it a thousand? What the crap? No, oh. Alright, a thousand. Is there a better way to view... Like, this... There, there, anyway, here's another thing. Unity, Unity UI developers who are clearly paying attention to my every action. Um... Game soundtracks are cool. Yes, absolutely. Um, please drop it into Show Me Your Tunes as I am reading chat off of a separate machine. Wait, is this it? Nick's Personal, personal Symphony? Is this it? Is this it? Is it here? Mr. Navi Knobs Jr.? All of these things sound amazing. What is this? Yes. I will... I will... I will play that immediately. And here we go. Into the world of destiny. I can barely hear it. I was debugging audio earlier. There we go. It's beautiful. Isn't it great that game music just is out there in the world? Um, alright. Let me save my work And then I'll show you more adjustments To my thing Eh, uh, looks okay Yep, okay This is pretty, this is pretty calm and Smooth and relaxing Alright, so that's gonna stay centered um, let me just kind of scoot through my hierarchy. And the way that I structure... Oh, it's so loud for me. So the way that I structure the, um, the hierarchy of my projects, especially in regards to code that work on these, like, These, these buttons. Um, let's see. I will have each state will have its own, like the ladder, right? We'll draw, we'll generate the bracket, and the title will show you the start button. And you know, <laughs> each of these different scenes will have different um, current view state name. I can attach that to the logo because whatever. And yeah, an action like that might disconnect something. I might try to make a now playing commercial. Well, how does that, what, oh, now playing command. Oh, so it can like detect the music that we're listening to? How does that work? I'm very curious. I'm quite curious. Oh no, these channels are teched out, man. Alert, alert message. So the next thing that I want to do, anyway, my point was I want to have whatever, like, function, uh, confirm action, I need the ladder builder. No, that's too big. I need the ladder manager. 
Which ladder builder has a reference to ladder, ladder manager, but that's a little bit too tenuous. I could do like. Uh, I could do an event, maybe? An event. A serious event. Um, like this whole send message upwards or find an object that has this name. Um, I don't think that's the most efficient way to do it, but this, this doesn't need to run at 600 frames a second. This doesn't. Oh, so that a mod could be like, I'm, I'm playing. Oh. I see. That's pretty cool. Um. But don't call it a rust belt. I think we have a visitor. Guns, all the guns. Stomach. This isn't, am I right? Alright. So. I also need to make sure the bottom boundary of my alert title does not. And does not. By does not, I mean does not. Uh, if I duplicate this text. That it actually fills up the space I want it to fill. Right now it's only tall enough for one message. But notice this. Alert message, alert message, alert message, alert message, alert message. Uh, doesn't really fit in like a reasonable way. And sometimes you want you want your text to be decent, you know, in order for people to read it. So I think that height is lovely to do it 200, and the width is just about wrong. So. That's pretty good, it fits within the frame. Uh, I can't see, I cannot see. You need developers who are watching. I need the ability to see these boundaries. I mean, I guess I could go up a couple of layers and like disable the image scripts, right? But now there's just a bunch of other image script crap that I can't see. Um, anyway. Cause I want to see that, see that rectangle shrink. That's the wrong, that's the wrong rectangle. Um, where are you? Here? Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. I can't tell. Oh, there it is. I see it now. It's this right there. Let's zoom in. This light gray line, this guy. We're gonna we're gonna watch this set of pixels right here. We're gonna look right there. At this, do you see this thing? That's the. Th it's like what five pixels wide or something. All right. So we're gonna try and keep an eye on that. <laughs> um. In order to frame, which of course I can't do, but I can kind of move it. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. I can use another UI element to kind of guide my way. Like this cancel button. That's pretty good. I'm glad that I did that. 700 pixels wide, you say? Gosh, I should have just done that from the start. It's like I used round numbers to design or something. Alright. So, that's good to go. I am so, so into this, like, this, this, this scroller thing. Um... It might seem ridiculous, but this is the maximum width of alert, message, alert, message, alert. It's the message alert, basically. That's all right with me. Because all I want is that. Alert message. You need to read these important things. T. It's my accent.
Maybe there's a decision to be made. Yeah, that's alright. And that has a new line in it. So, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so I'm trying to come up with a, with a Nerdcore event in Los Angeles that just has a bunch of local dudes I know at it. Um, and I don't know what to, what to name the event. Uh, we are, we are, you know, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do, trying to do a cool thing. Play music at a good place. I'm trying to put shadows underneath all of my buttons for consistency. Like here. They have such similar components. Can I paste the component values? I want a shadow. Blam. It's beautiful. song is good. Is this track four? I don't know. I can't remember what side of the screen my, um, my, my mouse escapes to. Okay, it tells me the length of each song. But, uh, you know, I have to do math to figure out what song we're listening to. I'm nine minutes and 39 seconds in. Well, that does sound like an elegy. I'm gonna have to go with that. That means it's about to end. Oh, I see, I see. I don't know if the audio mix is any good as well. I, I, our monitors that um, are kind of playing off in the background here, like, if they... Um, what you say, how you say, uh, let's make a game object that I can refer to in my main script here. Ladder builder, alert, window, something, something, something. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Public button. I just want like a, there we go. It's a matter, matter of organizing. Player template, preview icon, let's do like alert, window. I need to refer to a new drag and drop item. Just because that's kind of what Unity is good for. So, I'm looking at the wrong script. Yeah, I am looking at the wrong script. Oops. Uh, save right here. Uh, list of game objects. Oh, that's a little bit better. View state label. Uh, Plooplit, plooplit. I just want a, I just want a game out there. I can go find it. I'd rather do the linking some other way. Alt alert window. It's made up of stuff. I guess I could get the button right away. But it's not a button, it's an image that has a bunch of buttons and stuff in it. It's a game object. Everything's a game object. Everything's gonna be fine. Alert window is a game object. You darn right it is. That's this guy. Okay. Music is a bit loud. Crap. Wait. There are like 2,000 volume fader things. Let's just kick it down. I buy some slight amount. My voice is so soothing. It's like the grass. I have sunglasses. are so pink. Is that a bug or a feature? Um, cool. So now that those things are linked up and my scene is saved, I can actually disable the darn window. Yay. And then, um, that's great. That's wonderful. All right, now I have to go through and let's go to that first to do. Just confirm dialogue. So if the button is remove player, which means that I have added a player. Wow. Uh, Actually, need to add a kind of an arbitrary yield instruction um, to come back from confirm action, which I don't know if I can do that. 
inside of this function. It has to do it inside of a code team. You gotta do it in a code team. And here's what I mean. I don't want to throw like a million cases at a confirmed dialog. And also challenger list tag. Let's see, ladder builder. Like I really want to kind of go up a few levels. Uh, I could give challenger list tag like each instance of these uh, of these guys. Uh, if I hit if I hit play, these guys. The idea here is I'm editing, editing the thing, I can change the image, I can fix the thing, I can edit the thing. If I want to delete the thing, this window should come up. And so, now playing nothing! Alright. Oh, I guess I should try that. Uh, let me get, let me log into Twitch. <laughs> That's right, I stream without even logging into Twitch. Um... <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna hear the audio of our own thing. Alright. So, set. Wait, what? Set now playing to user. Oh, I see. Now playing nothing! Hey, it's alright. You tried. And you know what? Trying is, is very important. Because I tried to. I tried to get a lot more done in an hour and a half than I did. But I did feel productive. You know? Because that is a feature that I did want to have. And we're almost done with it, so we're gonna finish. Um, or, you know, get to a point where I want coffee or something. <laughs> I don't want to leave the stream up and take a break. I find that to be uncool. And this is a good way to, you know it through a problem. So, how do I do the confirm dialog? Bool confirm action. Uh, if I set up a yield, I really need another script that does this. I have access to the ladder manager from here. Basically, let, let's talk about what I was trying to avoid, right? Because the higher level script, let's say, can do this. Because I have access to the ladder builder, right? And I can go through the ladder builder, I can check the ladder manager, and I can get a function kind of like backwards virtually, and that's not super exciting. I could do an event, but I don't quite understand that off the top of my head. Maybe I'll research it. It just seems like something... Method in the name, method name... On every wanted behavior in this game object or any of its children. Oh, can I do upwards? Uh, message... Send message... On every wanted behavior in the game object. Send message upwards. Calls the method name the method name on every wanted behavior in the game object on every ancestor of the behavior. What? Yeah, but that only works through a class structure that I really don't care about. Um, what if I have a simpler script? Okay. Um, and I'm gonna leave a little tag here in case I get distracted. Uh, please fix me. Father. Um, and that will be this this button. Yes. I'm, I'm reaching I'm reaching for the truth here. I have a prefab of these temporary player items. And there is a button uh, edit. Which actually is, will be in here. Guy. Here's my prefab, temp player name, button, edit, view, remove. So button remove 
I can actually add another script too, uh, which is just a generic confirmed dialogue um, that has access to the top level, right? So instead of at destiny? Oh, interesting. How does he, what? How, oh, I see, because you're watching the same video. Okay, now I gotta try it. Now I gotta find my mouse button. Hey! Alright. Activity and support. Misery. Maybe I'll add chat up here sometime. Your thing. I will. You, know, I will. You do your thing. I will. I will continue to do my thing. But thanks for sticking with me, Chad. You guys are great. I feel like reading off all of the patrons is something that we should do. It's something that I that I still feel kind of unworthy of. Like one of my favorite YouTube channels uh, is closing down. If you're into the PBS Idea channel, I understand why. It's a super super cool spot. And. It takes a lot of these bigger and better organized organizations to a long time to um, gather the courage, you know, a lot of these creators and people who make podcasts and videos and all kinds of wonderful things. Uh, it takes a long time for them to get the courage to ask for <laughs> to ask for patrons. Um, and, you know, we kind of went out on a limb and just did it. And I gotta say to T-Mad and James Rogers and to Robbie and, you know, Matt Matad and Nasty and Jay Edgar and McPherson, uh, Jimbo Thousand, or Jimbo Ten Thousand, um, and so many people who I really need to get their nicknames. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us, even if it's at the dollar level, even if it's at the 50 cent level, Logan 3. Um, now playing Rise from Iron off the original soundtrack, that's much better. How are you editing this? Oh, I see. Well, you're setting that way. Oh, okay. Is that like a bot feature, or... Because I didn't do anything. Maybe it just knows. It knows nothing. Alright, anyway, so my invisible button to my invisible prefab, because I do that a lot, because I'll have my prototype kicking around somewhere, um, is over here. And my remove button needs a new behavior, which is going to be show an alert for whatever. So... I guess we'll just do that. Show alert window. Um, it could also be done as show alert. No, let's go. Create an ad. Sweet. So that's beautiful. And we're going to modify the prefab itself just so that that's there. I'm going to modify the location of that script because by default it kind of just puts it there. And I want it to be in there. All right, that's beautiful. Um, this is how we get our scene all organized. So I have this empty script. It's pretty fun. Um, the only thing that this object really needs to know about is this alert window, right? It needs to know where that is. So actually, I can do that in the prefab slot. We're gonna just have a game object that we're linking to, you know, because why do anything the right way when you could do it the clear way? Uh, this is a game object, alert window, and it's just a script, we're just doing a link. No real logic, it's all kind of event flow stuff. The remove has a button that does that on press. Um, I could give it a series of different alert windows, 
um, and have buttons call that through script objects. Who cares? But who cares? As Ruby Rod would say. Now it works great. Ooh, and it gives you the link. Well done, dude. You are far, far more productive than I this afternoon. I respect that. Look at all the lights in my face. I'm like an alien. This isn't even my final form. Destiny very much. I think I tried it once for maybe like 30 minutes. And it seems like a game that you build a relationship with. And so I didn't. Because I was playing on somebody else's profile and I really didn't want to. You know what I mean? And then I'm starting to realize who I probably got that text message in the form of me now from. Anyway. I'm setting up an alert window to be activated, blah, 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 when it is selected. Uh, we have some kind of simple mechanism, like toggle window or whatever. Um, basically, I want the thing to come on and go off. I want the thing to repeat. Also, the window itself doesn't actually have a link to any functionality. And I need to return, you know, whether or not I want that, you know. Whether I want that option. But we'll just kind of go through the steps, like I said. Use first, ask questions later. Um, so, you know, just show me the window. Uh, yay. Okay, sure. It's like the name of the function that's not gonna work, or the name of the class. Uh, how about hide? Show, hide, display, activate. How about show alert? The hardest part of programming is coming up with uh, variable names or class names. Just to keep your mind right. And I can do alert window, set actor, yeah, Really straightforward. Um, I can actually, I can actually put a copy of this script into the alert window itself, so that it knows where to get functions from. You don't have to do this, um, but it'll make my life a little bit easier. Uh, like it doesn't need that uh, necessarily, because it's not going to. It it doesn't ask questions, right? I'm just thinking about it from the perspective of this button and also not wanting to manage too many extra files. As you can see by my non pseudo code life. Pseudo? Don't you, don't you pseudo? You know, I wish I did. But until it breaks down. No, I don't. Wait, what's going on? Uh, do I have it on Xbox One? I've got an inflation on PS4. I can get the original game plus all DLCs for 20 bucks. I am have re-arrived, I did. I think that's what Tomaki sounds like when he's not singing. Asumo. Oh, man. All right, so let's activate that window. Like I said, just very linear. Make sure it works steps. Why the heck not? Uh... So, window, alert frame, Tomaki's come back, which is pretty cool. I should add that dude's icon to this list. Ho, 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 let's do it. Uh, so I have textures, I have icons. Uh, I could import a new asset in the form of icon Tomaki. Dope. Sweet. Now I actually have an icon for Tomaki. And I want to... Where do I put my player icons? Here we go. Let's just add another slot real quick. 
um, and drag. No, do it again. Cha cha cha. Icon Tamaki right there. Cool. So let's add Tamaki for real. Ah, oh, spelled your name wrong. Let's see. It's in here somewhere. Boom. Let's register that player. Whoa. I did something wrong. I did totally do something wrong. What did I do? What? What's? Oh crap. I know what's wrong. all this prefab shenanigans by default that prefab is disabled <laughs> um, I don't remember where I did this that's why you that's why you pseudocode here's my icon if you want to test it out too you used to sumo all right let's go Wait a minute, I'm logged into Twitch. I can actually I can actually check the chat. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's save that. Uh T Icon T Mad. I think is my naming convention that I just made up. Let's import this guy. Hold on, let me double check my prefab instance though. So what I believe is going on is by default it's actually it's like activated or not activated. I don't remember. I I, I couldn't tell you because you can have the thing show up right or not. And that's an instance of the dude because I used to have like a like a template or like a temp dude, right? And I would give temp dude like a position. And I think instead of deactivating it, which is kind of embarrassing. I should just delete that first entry point, but I'm kind of afraid of actually deleting objects. Uh, not, you know, like because I have a crippling fear of deleting things. Oh, but I, you know, I can use this to test that feature since we're here. Wow, that didn't work. Win alert frame. Please fix me, father. I am broken. So there's something wrong here. That's fine though, because now I have direct access to the script, which is awesome. Oh, you know what? You know what the script doesn't have? It doesn't have that script. Show alert window. Show alert window is just a button. It's just a button. A button that needs functionality. A button that needs a reference point. A button that. Why the crap did I even go through all that labor? Hold on a sec. Let's remove this component. I kind of forgot about this. I kind of forgot about you. There we go. Uh, game object. Set active. Let's turn it on. Okay, now this doesn't actually do anything. Of course. Wow. I weighed 286 once. That is pretty intense. That's like very. I used to be. I used to be as fat. That's like very fat. I feel, I feel that. I probably look that. What can I say? Um, so the button does activate the window. This is activated by default. What do I do when I'm building this list? I think that I have like a... I do is I here's here's the trick is I keep it activated when I set the prefab and then I deactivate it before I test it so the actual actual object isn't there but the default state of uh, oh, I didn't add to that to the, list. the default state of this prefab is it's activated even though at runtime it's not the case. 
So it allows me to edit it, you know, in there. Okay, so let's see. I don't have Tiana's icon. Get in here. Get in here. The music is really loud. It just, it rocks a little too hard, maybe. Doing well on time, though. 30 minutes in, I've lost track of it. The curve is a little bit intense. That compressor is working its work. I moved a water cooler, water heater today. I think a water cooler would be more impressive. <laughs> it's my mid Hedberg impression of the day. Uh, Alright, so that works. I need to go to the thing that contains my things. The list of lists that I list with. And I just want to make it uh, 7. And I want to add icon T Mad. Yeah, I see you there, buddy. Yeah, this is a new version of Unity. Everything's so new. Unity 2017.1 F3. Visual Studio. 4 Mac. Legit. Uh, I'm into that. Got so much to do. Alright, so let's add TMAD. Oh. Uh, let's see. Where is your icon? Register player. Boom. Let's add Tomiki. Uh, which should be somewhere in here. Perfect. Right? And maybe, like, I want them both to use the same icon. I don't know. But that whole, that whole flow, that's why this is cool. There will be more icons. Is the music any better, by the way? I know it might be disturbing you. Maybe I should just ask you to turn it down politely, sir. I don't know. I feel like I'll split the difference. A nine foot tall freezer. Wow. That is pretty impressive. There's something about like sitting still and like not, you know, really moving much of your body that, you know, makes me tired. I don't I understand that. Cool editing. So, you know, for the purpose of like getting somebody's name capitalized. What I'm gonna do is hit that button. Please fix me, father. And go and do that thing here. This button should do that thing. Which maybe I should just remove this altogether. Instead of toggle edit and delete. Yeah, actually. I'm I I am have been convinced. Because that way I know I don't have to go through the edit player and call the same function. Even though like this button has the same script or something, I can't remember. I can't remember dude. Uh let's look at temp player name, tag remove. Alright, because it's looking at the same script and the same function. And I should just move that out to another function, right? Confirm delete. It's that it's that exploding code. Uh, so we'll do void remove player. Uh, what player? We know what that means. Challenge list tag. It's going to do most of these things, you know. It's going to. Oh, can I do? Yes, rectangular marquee. Um, it's okay, if you're tired, you can just say it's 9:59. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on FL time. Actually, that's not pretty good. I want to see. Uh, I kind of want to just make sure that I get a couple of hours in, and at least kind of get the. Yeah, I got 20 minutes. That's plenty of time. I want to make sure that I get the basic functionality of an alert dialog that says something meaningful that you can 
continue with the procedure, or you can blah 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 blah. Um, or you can cancel that action and go back to editing, which is the first and easiest thing to do. Um, so let's do that. Public void, remove player. It's going to do most of these things, like, please fix me, father. Look at that. Oh, rectangular marquee. Oh, it's so good. Um, rectangular text selection, man. I just like that. I think that's brilliant. I don't want to destroy the game object quite. What the crap? Yeah, I'm fine. What the crap? That's so weird. That's so... Wait, can I... Can this get weirder? What? Yes, it can. Don't mess with your text buffers, my friend. All right, let's 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 learn these shortcut keys. I ain't afraid of no shortcut keys. Boom. Okay. Table unflip. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, should, I wonder if there are other. Can we tell a story with the table, and maybe come up with the the divine table? Um, method practice. I'm looking at the stream and I realize that this text is illegible. Maybe that's why that person was so angry with me. And look at all this negative, look at all this empty space on the right side of my window. I am just an embarrassment. Anyway. Um... Uh, okay. There we go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted this to be here. Really, deep down inside, that's all I really wanted. I don't want to destroy this game object right away. Uh, reset is editing. Fifth player submission. Oh, now I can kind of read it. I don't think I'd be able to read it on my phone. And I don't think that my head needs to be so big, you know, but. I don't make these choices. Alright. So, what's next? Uh, yes. The remove player fix me for a little bit. That doesn't, that doesn't do much. I'm using like a weird instigator pattern. Confirm dialog box. That button is still there, it still has access to that function. What do I want out of life? What? Is my major malfunction at the moment? Window alert flame, it's asking about itself. Um, I want to make sure that the image is a raycast target so that it blocks the other stuff, which it mostly does. Uh, you get over here. I don't think I need this structure anymore. I should just be able to point at the alert window from the prefab, which I think is what I was trying to do. Also, show alert should be like a type. Uh, or like a button, right? Like I can give it... Oh, actually, maybe that's a good way to go. Okay, let's try that. Go alert button up. And that's not gonna work because I'm not doing this. And that hopefully will give me an error. Yeah, because you need Unity Engine's namespace to get a mono behavior. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Thank you. Spank. Took a long time to grow into the size of my head. No. Oh, it's, it's important. Can't tell him. People just have big heads. Sometimes. Is that the end of the 
of the Destiny soundtrack? I'm kind of disappointed. Oh no, we're not, we're not done yet, kids. Got about 30 minutes left on that. Hmm. So... I can get the name of the button and kind of filter that through the script, right? The thing that calls it. Because from here... Whoa, let's save. That looks sketchy. Alright, because so from here, I can say... Inside of here, in the remove button... Uh, instead of... Uh, this function... I can point to... A different script? Or a different object altogether? Like the alert frame... Wow. And then that thing has a function called show alert window... Like show alert with the button... And the button is itself... Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. And remember, this is activated by default, so I'm gonna just hit that and hit apply. And this is also helps with testing. It's like I have a workflow. Wait, alert message. All of the things in this stack are enabled by default. Okay. Uh, this is also for... Look, I can use a game controller event flow. It's insane. I can actually move around to other buttons that I don't want to select, like that one. Or that one. <laughs> There's like a whole thing. I can disable that and edit those chains, but you know, we'll be alright. You bead to read. Did I spell something like terribly? Uh, probably. I wasn't paying attention. That's alright. Yeah. That's exactly what that says. Good catch. Bead. Forget that. We're fixing that now. That was close. Um. <laughs> oh wow, zooming in on the screen is easily the best thing ever. This has made this has made my day. This will be great for everything from now on forever. Unless there's an application that somehow requires me to control and scroll at the same time. At which point I'll be kinda sad. But maybe that's expandable to the three finger scroll or something a little bit more sophisticated like the amazing Apple Squish. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. More people are all showing up. I guess we just picked the right time of day to stream. Tell me what you're doing. I, should I call them out? Should I go, like look at the viewer list and be like, hey, viewer? Like, like flip and flip. Who are you? Or cable PRT? What's up, man? Or the real what? Oh, bus wolf. And Zelda Zack, which I'm totally. I think Zelda Zack just leaves us on, which I'm totally into. Hey, congrats! We have as many moderators as we have viewers. Sassy man. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Especially, you know, when, like, there are a thousand people watching, right? And we can't even see what each other are typing because thousands of people would show up. Mm. I mean... You are instrumental in making the streaming process your own. I'm just here to... <laughs> I'm just here to say cool stuff. Though what we should do... Is is put that right here, and just you know, this will be like the annoying section of the screen. This will be the the annoying waste of space, just like the space below me here. I have like ah, uh, I thought I had all kinds of real estate. I could like get my arms fully stretched out, like praise the sun. 
Um, we have that kind of space. There's gotta be so much, so much video of people having seizures on this one. Phrasing the helix. I can see all of these things because I have that robot in, in expansion. Better, better twitch or something. All right, so icon edit should not do that. Icon edit is looking at the wrong. Oh, I see it's setting active this thing. Okay. Well, who wants that? Steven Asa. I'll be dogged. So these two objects actually had different ways of doing the same thing. <laughs> the temp player name. Whoa! That didn't work. I'm sorry. Alright, so let's do this. So the edit button. What the crap? I don't want you to do that. I want you to actually do the other thing. Which sucks. Okay. Um, what game object does this? Is it the challenger list tag object? I think it might be. This is annoying, but it must be done. One of these is a button. You are a button. You are a button. You get a button. You get a button. Okay, edit. Set active. That is incorrect, young son. You really need to be looking at yourself. You know, you need to look at yourself. Look at the scripts. So look at toggle edit and delete the button that we're trying to do that with is with the edit button and you need to apply that prefab instance state all right because when i see you and i turn on that remove button and i try and do this other thing by by joe it better be done and we're going to do that with a new player called steven but Steven, I don't know if y'all know this, is a huge fan of Tomaki, which is totally acceptable. I'm a big fan of Tomaki as well. So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna edit. No! Why doesn't my delete button work? Nay, should I? I guess I can't do it. Imagine that the, the thing has like a real. It really cares. Let's look at this button at runtime to see when alert. Okay, cool. Actually, you know what? I bet this function just doesn't have any, you know, any any content to it. All right. All right. So actually, I don't even have to do alert window. I can just say this. Uh, or game objects. Can I do like lowercase? Yeah. There we go. Sweet. Can we get that just in time compiling? No, that script went missing. That's an embarrassment. Alright. We can get this right. Yay! Ramen. Oh, are you talking about how I can use a ton of weight? No sugar. Yay, ramen. Why does Team Ad not show up? Oh, wait. Don't tell me. Or do tell me. Now I'm curious. The Masked Man. Okay, that seems to be working. Hmm. Can we just... Apply something real quick. Are these not... They're embedded prefabs, but are they really... Button remove. This ties to this script. Show. Alert. Window. This button remove. And it needs a button argument, because I guess I'll put all of my alerts in the same thing. This is disabled by default. Hmm. 
It's kind of oh, redundant. I know I'm doing something absolutely wrong with my tired self, but it's alright. Still a few more, a few new subs, a few new folk. That's what I'm talking about. Let's watch the instant replay. Cool. So when I hit cancel, which I can just blink up by getting the names of those buttons. Button deny, button confirm. Uh, like so. Uh, I guess I can just add that functionality, like close window. Uh, right? I don't know why they have to be public, whatever. Hide alerts. Uh, which doesn't really return crap. Uh, MMD. Whoa! of this button based on or contents of this window good I understand you have quite a few uh, clever approaches snap a rue so that button does its job let's finish the rest of its states out hide alert we're gonna Game object set active false. Yay. And we're going to do one more thing, which is confirm. And if I confirm, uh, so void, uh, confirm. We're going to use the button again. Uh, to get information about what the heck that thing is supposed to do. Right? So in the case of the remove player button, I might say something like, uh, you know, switch button or whatever. Uh, yeah, they have generic names, right? 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 Yeah, button remove, right? So... I guess we'll just do something loose, so I don't have to come up with, you know, I don't even do what to do this, hit tab twice, because I want to switch on the value of button.name, uh, I think I could do it like this, yeah, and then I can check to see, you know, if, in the case of, uh, whatever the name of that button is, right, button deny, Uh, wait, <laughs> that's not the right name. It's button underscore remove. And then I guess default, I'll just close the program or close the guy. But let's do this break. Let's write it all out of order. For anyone watching who knows how to script, they can just like cringe to death. See if I care. By default, we're just gonna hide alert. Uh, why not? Um, if the name is button remove, and I can do the same kind of thing here. I show alert if the name is whoa. Well, this is not where I wanted to do that, but it's essentially the same pattern. And that's kind of why I do a toggle so I can write the pattern once, but you know, whatever. So. Confirm in the case of button remove, we're going to uh, get the component 
of that <laughs> uh whatever it is i think that button itself has as this get component i want challenger list tag i want to get component in parent uh is it one or two generations of whatever can i do that component in parent Uh, can I do that with a generic? Yes. Uh, challenger list tag. Uh, and I think I just have, like, remove players. Uh, hey, boobs. Alright, and... That's, uh, this function right here. Which says, please fix me, father. And, uh, at which point, we will reset the state of the editor, and then destroy the game object. That kind of closes that loop, and it's beautiful. In the case of showing the alert, if I end the remove button, I can now change the text of the alert itself. So let's uh, make sure that we have access to that. So I need UI because I have a public text uh, for alert header and alert button, right? And those can technically be the two string fields. Who cares? I wait. I get to that soon. Uh, because I would say... Instead of changing the header, I will change the alert body, right? Uh, just like, I don't even know. Whatever, are you sure? That's a string. Um, and I think that's it in terms of that control structure. Um, I do need to link up all of these objects, however. So we're going to do this alert. What the crap? Uh, uh, alert message here. And alert title here. And the deny button is going to be from its own, its own, you know, believe in your own dang self. I think. No, because it's going to require a button. So that means that I need to instigate it through another pattern. Um, the. Maybe I should get the instigator. Alert header, alert body. I need a button that I can set. I'm trying to remember how I did this. I know I did this. I know I did this logically. <laughs> Hold on. Show alert button remove. Confirm. Oh, this is the problem. Uh, okay. Let's do a button for the instigator. Uh, inst. So if it shows up, then inst is going to be that button. And now I can switch out inst. Okay. That sounds like fun. Encode. Encode your awkward temporary player. I did something wrong. Wait, are you sure you want to remove this player? I don't want to. Oh crap, that didn't work either. Oh goodness. A bunch of stuff isn't working. Which is pretty close to, pretty close to working. Oh, sorry. A lot of that has to do with, uh, you know, not really applying 
This prefab completely disabled. I'm really curious about the <laughs> Team Mad 40 bug. Mad, it's mad. We're gonna use his icon too. Hey, it worked. That's mad. Cool. Why didn't that work? So what aren't you linked to? Let's watch the state again. And then dice. So let's look at this list item and see if there's anything that isn't properly linked. The edit button is not. Ah. Okay. Because this guy would. Button remove totally knows where that thing is. But this button has no idea. And it has a copy of show alert window on it. Which is kind of redundant and ridiculous. Okay. So yeah, nothing's happening because there is no event there. Which I think that means my... The nested prefab is really nested. I mean, what I mean by that is... Remove this component. That looks unnecessary. Runtime. I want to make sure that I pass this button, which is in that prefab, to this object, which is temporary? The way that it's bold? That seems incorrect. I think there's there's got to be a better way to work that. <laughs> yeah, that is it right there. I might have to. I guess I could just do the callback interface. What is that thing called? Be the dog that you want to be. Yeah, you're here. You're hiding, but I see you. Also, this button... Oh, and it activates all of the children by default, you know. That's fine. But it isn't linking to an object. That's not cool. This is what's going on. But I have other things. I've had this configured properly before. So let's fix that. Let's edit and remove. Edit by default should be the first thing on. Edit remove is off. I think toggle edit and delete actually might have been. Button edit player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fix me, father! Destroy this game object. Do I have them both on? And I... Remove player set active. Right? So serious. Like you will come to your, you will come to your no known demise. You will know your demise when you come to it. You will demise gnomes. Not bad. We have crossed the line. What is Eastern Daylight Savings Time all about? That works. 
works fine. That works not fine. Alright. Talk to him. Because if I keep changes, then that'll flow back. I could do it again. It's not ah, uh, it's Tomaki. Uh, 14. Um, I've created a hybrid. Um, right. The remove tag is not there. Good. Now the remove tag is there. The edit tag is not there. And you, you, you. Compared to this button script, like I said, this bolded. <sighs> Much bolded event here. I might have to give it. I mean, we you know we, it could be Florida time, or can that be based on the user? Like, could it be some sort of curly bracket thing that's like, you know, since it was your time? Hi, Cario Boo, or Cario Boo. That sounds cute. Do you know this user? <laughs> Thank you for joining up with this chat. Or this stream. I don't have much more in me at the moment. We've been up for a bit over two hours. And... It's pretty taxing on the brain. But I've had a good time streaming. I hope you all have had a good time watching. But, you know, please feel free to introduce yourself. Hang out on Discord with us. You know, a lot of people do that. Um... This is my shoe tying let's play. Um, I'm trying to resolve an issue with my with my button right now to fix my my flow of my application. Bum 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 bum. Because it's not doing what I want it to do. So we'll keep those changes. We'll create those player lists. It's just so smooth. It instantly switches a whole tree of information off and turns a smaller tree of information on. Are you making this? Car Karyobu, you know I am. I am making this. I'm trying to make it like work really well. Like, let, I turned on this other thing, but like what I'm trying to do is edit, you know, like cardio view. Um, and give you like I don't know. You look like a you look like a like team match forty in my mind. Um, I want to get this event to happen inside of a prefab. Which is kind of tricky because it's pretty stacked. Time US Pacific. Whoa, look at all of these GMTs and PDTs and EDTs. Uptime, all uptimes. I totally think that's great. No, it's great. We need all of the uptime. We need all of the the things you need all of that you need them all so this is what's going on if I hit cancel or okay stuff should happen but the linkage is not complete so I've been kind of messing around with that um. <laughs> trying to figure out what you know what is that line of things that you can you can have in a prefab, right? Like you can't obviously keep the position or other orientation factors inside of a prefab, right? Um, you can have some objects like you know maybe your you know your offset or uh, <laughs> static things like the state. But script references seem to be a little bit slippery. This works, I think, because it's referring to itself. And so, was my approach before to have the alert window script 
Like if I were to put this script from this object into this thing. What the crap? Button remove has show alert window. Show alert button. And the button is this button. Right? That means that I need to have a protected route to options window. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it to show you what I'm talking about. Apply and hide. Oh man! I saw it earlier. I thought it was. It's okay. We we're two hours slower than other left time. Maybe if I did it? I don't know. Why would that make a difference? Okay. Display name, uptime at. Oh. Weird. Well, you know, those selfish open source developers just like giving away their tool sets. Thank you. Um Yeah, this is a this is a this is a tool that I'm building for I'm building it for our patrons. I want to like we we have game tournaments for for a handful of folks. We're trying to sell tickets to it because um, it's kind of expensive to run. And in light of that, uh, choose image. I want yeah. I gotta use that comedy thing. So in light of aha, sorry, I got all excited. Let's have a look at what's actually not instance of what so here right We're looking at this component boom the remove button let's get all focused on it um i'm trying to make sure that when this uh, when this prefab is initialized oh it's trying to it's an instance of the same stupid it's this thing. It's an instance of this script that has no... I don't know. It has no... Ref it's missing stuff. So what I want to do... Ooh, is... I guess I can... I haven't tried this yet. You can do this. You can go into your scripts and you can give it default values. Uh, default references. But only applies in edit mode. Which is not really useful. <laughs> Unless I like were to copy and paste it onto different objects, which is useful. So there's a, you know, there is a thing about that. Channel stats? What? Yeah, yeah, yo. That is pretty cool. Teamite is just suiting us up with so many commands that we're gonna need a dictionary or something. It's actually pretty intense. Tomaki, sorry, Teamad 40. You guys are like Teamad key. They're becoming one in my mind in like a totally platonic and amazing way. Um, let's see. So what I'm trying to figure out, uh, Kario Boo, is what in the heck is going on here? The best way to kind of loop back up to this object. I can say, I can try and link it up to, like, what I want it to do is, I want this to live in its own space. And when a button evokes it, uh, like in the event of the remove button here, that it knows who it's dealing with. That I don't want the remove button to be the master of that situation. It really should be this other object, right? It should be the, the window alert something, 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 something. You 
show alert window should be looking for. Whoa, 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 show alert. Where is that thing? Show alert. And the button is going to be this button. Right. Let's visualize that event flow. Whoa, it's so squiggly. Do, 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 do. 29 frames per second, frames per second, baby. <laughs> oh no. My courtesy monitor flickered, but hopefully this thing is not, is not taking a hit. So anyway, I'm working on this, this, this flow, right? Um, if I remove this component and then save these stats, I want to apply. I want to make sure that I don't have this bold, this thing. What the crap? This thing. Where the, where did you, this guy? Win alert face. Because it's pointing at a script. Um, what if it was just the game object? No, 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 like, no function. Can I get it to just do something with game object? Like, what does this even mean? Off? Runtime only? Editor and runtime? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But this button doesn't do anything in the editor, as far as I can tell. Because uh, when alert frame is a game object, it's an object. So I'd have to get the component from it, which it's doing automatically. <laughs> it's so touching that you love that you love Destiny so much. I kind of admire that, but I also understand. Like this. I want the win alert frame game object. I want to hit apply. I can't nail that down. No function, no problem. Show alert with that button. There's got to be a better way. This thing will still need a script. That maybe is just this function. Show alert. Show rec. That's so... That's so darn lazy. It's so... It's just inelegant. It makes me sad. That's fine. That's fine. Um, so show alert window... Let's just call it alert. Let's just be lit. Like, no, crap. No, no, why? Remove component. Add component. New script. The new script is called alert. Or whatever. Or dialogue box. Whatever. Oh, uh, gosh. This is stupid. Alert diag. Let's edit this alert diag script. Actually, no. First things first, I'm going to apply it to make sure that it is stapled to this prefab. That is the whole point of this exercise. So now I have this empty script. It does nothing really crazy. I want to go find a, a version of whatever this is. Show alert window, right? Uh, which would be called alert. And when it starts, I'm going to find a game object that has that alert window. Uh, like this. Oh, sorry. Just, it's not immutable. It is immutable. Uh, find... And then find by the name, which the name of this object doesn't change. It's always going to be win underscore alert frame. And I'll be able to find that object whether or not it's enabled because it exists. Cool. And now I can have a function that gets the thing started. Uh, sure. Uh, stream stats. What? I like the ticker. Live text will be... <laughs> yeah, I did. It just clicked over. Hey, there it goes. Uh, 
I need that component called show alert window and that's what we're gonna do sweet so now it's gonna graph that to this thing and so now this thing needs an event right where am I let's talk about this let's talk about this remove button with its own little special script called alert dyad so I'm gonna add an event that uses alert dyad and it'll refer to itself which is cool that means I can actually hit apply and it won't go anywhere right you see that see how it's not bold anymore look at you look at you all right like that drives me nuts anyway so now I have to put a public function all right not a not a pubic function that's a different um, I need a void that basically does the same thing uh, uh, I'll call this function poop. And poop doesn't really need any arguments because it's going to call uh, uh, show alerts and it's going to be this uh, get component and parents, I think. Uh, probably button. Because I think button. Oh, this doesn't use UI. Uh, copy paste dot UI. Oh, there you go. Hey, buddy. And even though I don't use it, no, I shouldn't have to do that. What am I talking about? I don't know what is going on. Some, there's something like really struggling in this building. Anyway, uh, show alert. It's expecting a button. I think if I give it this, it's going to be like, what the hell is this? So I'd have to give it the component of a button. How difficult is that? It's kind of like an ugly cast. Alright. So, I finally have a function called poop. Don't laugh. It's self-conscious. Um, but this will at least allow me to poop out what I'm looking for, um, ideally. So let me just double check that I have applied those conditions under the right conditions. Good, apply, good, good, we'll hide you. Um, yeah. Choose image. I want Tomaki's beautiful green face. So, the point of this exercise is to make sure that I can fix Tomaki. Um, and that I can actually do this. Oh! My object reference is not set to an instance of an object. I think Aziz and Sorry should run a scripting. Oh! It should be right here. Here's the script that's referencing that component. And here's that component. They're literally right next to each other. So you're gonna have to run that by me again. Oh, I see. You don't know what win alert frame is. I hope I didn't. All right. Can I like break the game if that doesn't happen? Uh, if not, alert. Give a break. That's not... You can't do that. You have to put a condition somewhere important. That's this one line if statement. Like, what is that? I think assert makes more sense. It's beautiful. E. Register player. Ah, I screwed up. I screwed up. Is that really the thing that messes me up? I have to know. It totally is. Every time. Anyway. 
Yeah, same problem. No reference exception. Who are you, really? Button remove. I don't really want to visualize the navigation anymore, though. It is... Alert dialogue poop. That seems to be working. But it's just that I can't call that method. Because of this. Because this object is not... It's not there. It's not doing it. Maybe I should do the same thing on alert. Or on awake. So let's cut this. Before this thing starts, um, we'll try doing it another way. Oh wow, wow, they have like a template for Awake, wow, Visual Studio for Unity, you've done such amazing things. Uh, huh, I know it's private, everyone knows it's private. Alright, let's try that again. La la la... La 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 la... What is your player? How long can your name be? Is it possible that your name can be re... Nuts... Utastically long? Let's find out. I think I'll use the Mint Potion logo this time. No, there is, a, there is a hard limit. That's good. Let's say I want to edit this, because that's a ridiculous looking image. How the front fork 13 and 25? I should break it. <laughs> um. Ugh, well, it did break it. That's true. I wish I had like some stupid tagline or something that I was really serious about. Like, oh man. That's crazy. I, you know, I bet. I know what's wrong with this. Um, that's the whole point, dude. Uh, it's not an instance of an object. Is this difficult to read or something? What the f Can I zoom into like another screen and have that show up over here? I bet I can. Sorry, I'm getting into like the details of what... This one is beautiful! This is so extreme! For the blind! Um... I don't know what it could possibly remind you of. Karyabu. But we will work it out. As a matter of fact, I think I, I think I am worked out. Let's try let's try the new commands left by our our our, our mans. Definitely got much further than I expected, and also without having much of a plan. You know, it's good to kind of sketch in. It's good to chalk in some other stuff. I feel like this frame puts me in a sprite commercial. Upstream. That's not. That's not what that does. Two and a half hours and change. That feels pretty good. Oi! I just need a break. I need a little break. Thank you for watching. A little help. Um, I'll, I'll be your hamburger. Um, you guys have been super cool. Um, thank you very much, our patrons, for doing our thing. Now playing Destiny: Rise of the Iron OST. Um, you guys rock. Thank you, Team Ad, for keeping me company. Thank you, Tamaki, for coming and going and then coming back. Um, thank you, Kariobu, for showing up and being new. And that is like the perfect cue.